Starting the coffee with chopsticks using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first, coffee. I don't know why I'm waking up with a little bit of a, with half my voice today. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Percolator today. Well, let's get started here. When you turned and walked away, that's when I want to say, come on, baby, give me a whirl. I want to know if you'll be my girl. Hey, baby, or hey, baby. <laughs> I got to know right now, will you be my girl? Bruce Channel, 1961. And of course, if you've done any Sunday fun days in any beach bars, you've heard that song a thousand times. One of the funniest signs and stickers I've ever seen in my life was in a thrift store. There was a five pound iron dumbbell. You could feel good about your purchase because it was tested and it works because you wouldn't want to take the chance that it didn't work. A five pound iron dumbbell with a sticker on it that says tested works. They put those stickers on electrical items. They like a fan or a lamp. They get tested in the back before they put them out on the shelf. But this dumbbell was tested. Whew. Good thing. I am convinced that if a gas station marketed organic gas and they hired former Whole Foods employees, or I should say Whole Foods employees types, complete with beards, dreads, uh, uh, complete with beards, dreadlocks, and Birkenstocks, and tie-dye shirts, that the lines to get that gas would go around the block about seven times. An ad from 1934 says, if you want to get ahead, get a hat. And the woman looks like a man and a woman are strolling down a sidewalk or in a store, and she says to him, that's just the kind of hat to go with your new sport coat. March 13th, 1934, that ad is from. The phrase, plants and birds and rocks and things, is an iconic phrase from the group America. I would say it is the dynamic equivalent of the Eagles, a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford. Iconic lines from the 1970s. Can you think of any other iconic lines from a song from the 70s? Can I ask you a serious question? Why is a person with your talents, abilities, and gifts not making at least 250000 a year? You know when you ask people that, they're going to tell you why they're losers. They will give you all the reasons why they can't and never the reasons why they can. The people who even have a possibility of improving themselves will start scratching their head and say, you know, you might be right. I gotta think about that. You'll cause them to toss and turn that night. But the loser the scarcity mindset gives all the excuses why they could never do that. You ready for some relationship dynamics? A woman has the capability of leaving a man and fully being another man's girlfriend within 48 hours. Men can't do that very easily themselves. Women can leave you, and this is not to put down women. Let's just talk about the nature of men and women when it comes to pair bonding. A woman can leave a man and within a day, two days at the most, fully be another man's girlfriend. Just like that. I didn't make that up. I, I'm not making that happen. It's producing a reaction in you right now. And you're uncomfortable not only with the fact, you're uncomfortable with your reaction. And you're uncomfortable with your future because of that. And you're looking at your own relationship and thinking, oh my God, can my girlfriend do that? She can. Your wife can, too. So where does your peace come from? Your peace comes from you. 
Your peace comes from you being the king in your relationship and not posting pictures of your beautiful wife and talking about my beautiful wife. Happy birthday to my beautiful wife. Look at my beautiful wife. Look here, mister. She's not saying that about you. That's your first clue right there. He who loves the least has the most power in the relationship. And I don't, this is not a power. Relationships are not power trips. But the reality is this. The person who loves the least wields the most power. Or I should say, maybe if I change the word power to influence, it's a fact. Facts don't care about your feelings. Facts don't care about my feelings. But the beautiful thing is this, is that you can sit up straight and you can create the life that you want for the first time in your life, even if you've never done it before. Keep watching my videos. Go back and watch my videos. The information is there. People can only be on their best behavior. Uh, for a long time, if there's something in it for them. Think about this now. If sex is part of the equation, men can be manipulated the easiest by sex. You can't manipulate a woman with sex. You manipulate a woman with stability and strength. A man is run by hormones. The beautiful thing about getting older, now here's hope for you men. Here's some hope. As you get older, you are less and less controlled by hormones, which means that you give zero shits about most stuff, and that the stuff that you do care about is genuine. Frivolous things just fall by the wayside. As a young man, your hormones, your sex drive is a gorilla in the driver's seat of your car. Your car is your life. As you get older, that gorilla moves to the passenger side and you get a chance to actually steer the car, your life, rather than letting your gorilla do it. After mm, 55, approaching my seventh decade on Earth, and the gorilla is in the back seat now, making suggestions. You should have turned left there. I can't believe you didn't slow down. And you just kind of flip the bird to the gorilla and say, shut up, put on your seatbelt. It's nice not being dragged around, so have hope. It gets better. It really does. Don't believe any gloom and doom from anybody. Anyone. Gentlemen, do not believe any gloom and doom. There's a lot of prophets of doom out there just saying that your future is going to be crappy. America's going down the tubes. Women are this way. Women are that way. Am I denying that they can be that way? No. But I'm also not denying that you can man the hell up and bring out the best in your woman if you already have one. Or if you don't have one, you can attract a certain type of woman who's not attracted to fools, but to strength and stability. And as you get older, you are stronger, you are more stable, and not driven by your hormones, whims, jealousies, insecurities. Just a little reminder that the pictures that you took of her, she now uses on a dating site. How many times do I have to tell you that? Stop taking pictures of your girlfriend if she's not your fiance or your wife. Girlfriends don't get pictures. Girlfriends don't get steaks. Girlfriends get Burger King. No, I'm only kidding about that part. But you remember what I said a week or two ago. Outback for the girlfriend, capital grill for the wife. No $250 dinners for girlfriends. Girlfriend equals temporary. You might start getting permanent when you get to fiancé, and hopefully wife is more permanent. So stop taking pictures of your girlfriends and then texting them because those beautiful pictures of her holding the wine glass up or smiling with her tilted head is going to be used when she goes on to Plenty of Fish, Bumble, Tinder, Match.com. It happens. Get used to it. Like at the end of the movie, The Mission. 
the king's aide says, thus is the world. And the king stopped and said, no, we have made it thus. You are creating your life. Do you have a life that is filled with misery and bad memories with women? Fools will say, thus is the world. I will tell you, no, you have made it thus. You get what you allow in your life. You have more control than you think. So this is going to help somebody tonight. You don't have to love somebody. You don't have to hate somebody. You have the option of nothing them. You don't love them. You don't hate them. You nothing them. And that's one of the most liberating skills that you will ever acquire in your life, is to disconnect from your memories, whether you're male or female. You can nothing people. Nothing is a verb. Hypergamy exists. I also think that hypergamy should make a man work a little bit harder. It is a fact. There's nothing you can do about it. You can bitch and moan. Hypergamy is like gravity. Just because you don't believe in it doesn't mean you're not going to be subject to its effects. So, it should make you work a little bit harder. That's a beautiful thing that it does for me. I don't bitch about it. It's like bitching about gravity. Complaining about hypergamy is like a man who says, I'm so sick and tired of gravity. Every time I throw a ball in the air, it comes back down. Dude. Ah. You working harder is not a bad thing. You'll achieve more. But the man who opts out of life and relationships because of hypergamy is like the guy who doesn't want to make more money because he'll have to pay more child support or pay more taxes. I would love to pay a million dollars in taxes. I would love that. You know why? You know why? Because that means that I made five million dollars. So, Long story short, I'm, not, I'm done with women because one or two hurt you, because they expect something from you, and you just want to be a lazy fuck. Dude, you don't do it for women. You do it for yourself. When are you going to make that connection? You've been listening to the wrong content creators. Hypergamy should empower you. It should empower you to boost your own nature. Looking at the nature of other people should make you say, well, what is my nature? What would I, what can I do naturally? But instead, you're being just a little bitch, aren't you? Allow nature and life as it is to empower you to be the man you need to be. Stomach in, chest out. Shoulders back, head up, voice a little bit deeper, walk 25% faster, have a sense of urgency, watch what you attract on the first day that you try that. She said to me, you will not be eating with chopsticks if we get married. Those words actually came out of her mouth. Now she's long gone. And yesterday, I ate pork belly with chopsticks, and this morning I stirred my coffee with chopsticks. Her, zero, chopsticks, two. Anybody here have an e-bike? I don't even know what e-bike to get. I have no idea, and I'm not spending $5,000 on one. If you have an e-bike, just give me some quick advice. I've read everything. I've watched everything. I have companies pitching me to send me their e-bikes. I have so much shit in my life. I'm not interested in more shit. I want, I want the best. Like, I got this great scooter. Phenomenal scooter. And it's hard to go back to junk after you've ridden the best. So what? tell me about e-bikes. If you have an e-bike, I want to know about it. Put it down below. 
Couples who cohabitate before marriage tend to be less satisfied with their marriages. Those aren't my words. Those are study after study after study, the results of studies. They're more likely to divorce than couples who do not cohabitate. Why do you think that is? All replies are welcome. Put your answer down below. The reality is people who do not live together prior to marriage tend to have happier marriages. However, happiness is de defined. What do you think? This is empirical research that has been done for over 40 years. Hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. So what's the remedy to your heart growing sick? Wisely choose who and what you put your hope in so you don't get depressed or discouraged. And I am 100% convinced for the past two decades that when people say depressed, they really mean discouraged. And I really think that if you are one of those people that keeps using the phrase or the word depressed, I'm depressed, I suffer from depression, may I present to you that you might be suffering from discouragement and the answer is not a pill or a psychiatrist. The answer could be courage. Can you imagine a doctor writing a script for courage? The cure for discouragement is courage. If you do carnivore for one month, you will see the body that you had decades ago. You will feel better. You'll look better. If you combine it with a walking program, increase your water intake, a light workout regimen, you're going to look better in as little as two weeks. Fact. Women go, as far as women are concerned, women can go from frumpy middle age to sexy very fast. Men can go from thick in the middle, slow, brontosaurus walking to being tighter, leaner, flatter stomach, and it starts in as little as two weeks. If you do carnivore for a month, you do only eat meat and drink water, and yes, any meat, chicken, fish, beef, pork, whatever, prepared however you want it. If you go carnivore for a month, you will have a different body 30 days from now. Don't doubt me on that. Well, we have good news here. We have uh, a straight razor from Forsetti Steel. The drawing, random drawing, it went to a man by the name of Anthony Ballas. Anthony Ballas, now I, I always choose two names for giveaways because not everyone reaches out to me or is consistent in their watching of the program when I, when I do giveaways and then when I do the drawing. The drawing was done first thing this morning at four o'clock. It is now, what, 4.30. So right before I started the show, I did a drawing. Anthony Ballas. If I don't hear from Anthony Ballas, B-A-L-L-A-S, then I draw the next name. I pull the next name out, which was already drawn. So congratulations for the Damascus Steel Straight Razor. I will get that out to you. Get back with me as soon as you can and the straight razor is yours. So congratulations to you, Mr. Ballas. Tim Mills lost his wife yesterday morning. Tim Mills was a follower of mine who became a friend. He worked at a corporate headquarters. He lives in Michigan, but the company he worked for had its headquarters in this area where I live. When he would come to this area, he would stop by and see me. He introduced himself to me several years ago by bringing a pipe to me from Paul's Pipes in Michigan, I believe it is. And he brought me a pouch for that pipe. That pipe would go in the pouch. The pouch was made by his wife. She made the pouch. It was magnificent. She passed away yesterday. Sad. She became a citizen. Uh, I forget what year, but they were together for 10 years. Tim, I believe, is a little bit younger than me. Good guy, if you know Tim Mills. He has a, co a coffee company called Five Degrees North, fifthdegreenorth.com. I can't even imagine losing my wife like that. Was divorced, was a grown man, living life, got another chance with a lovely woman named Janice. started a business together. 
business is going just fine. She gets sick. Yesterday she passed away. He and I were he and I were corresponding via text. I'm not going to reveal everything he said for confidentiality purposes. But he says I miss her so much. There's no user manual on moving from co-creator of beautiful memories to 24/7 caregiver and chief custodian of those very special memories in just 10 short years. Everywhere I look, all I can hear is her beautiful Amor Te Amo. The pain goes deep and still cuts deeper. Family and friends are amazing. I can't imagine going through this without that support. But when the lights are shut off and you walk past that little something that smells of her perfume, God is literally touching your soul with both his and her love. And I am humbled by his power. So today's show is dedicated to Tim Mills, and your lovely wife, Janeth, who's now resting in peace in God's arms, this is for you. And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show, your home of sanity, clarity, and reason. J.M. Bullion is an online precious metals dealer offering physical gold and silver bullion that is delivered directly to your door. Established in 2011, JM Bullion has shipped over 2 million orders and done over 3 billion in sales. Featuring a wide product selection, market leading and straightforward pricing, top notch customer service, and I can tell you it is top notch, and free shipping on orders of $99 and up.